Happy Sunday, everybody. So let's see, what did I start with? Jesus loves even me. Hold on while I choke. <coughs> okay. I'm back. Jesus loves even me. And then I went into, oh, mercy. I, I stand amazed in the presence, my Savior's love for me. And then I did Room at the Cross for You. I don't think I played anything in between those. I think that's the only three I started with. I may have done another one. But I can't remember. I didn't have my list written down. I was just playing from some that I had seen off the request list. So Room at the Cross for You, that is the first time I've played it on a Sunday Live. So I've played it before. I, I've grown up singing that song. But somebody asked for Out of the Favorites Book 5, page 84. So I do have those books here. And if you watched last week, you know that my friend David Combs sent me um, a bunch of the Favorites books that are now out of print. They were published by Singspiration under Dr. Al Smith and all those years. So great, great series. I have loved going through those. I took them up to my grandparents because I'd learned several songs from hearing my grandmother sing them. I mentioned some of that last week. So I took them over to their house this week and I let them thumb through it. And they had a story for almost every one of them. It was so fun. So I do have those books out. And if you have a favorite from that, please feel free to share it. And then also I have my All-American Church Hymnal open tonight so if that's one that you have used and love please feel free to throw page numbers at me out of this book that's the one I'm playing from tonight so or if I know it by memory I probably won't turn to it we'll see but all right I want to do some of your requests now so Josh is behind the camera and he'll tell me what you guys want to hear so. all right well first up is my Jesus I love thee oh that's a good one if I've played it on a Sunday Live, it has been a very long time, so that'll be fun. I hope to play quite a few of those tonight. I think you'll enjoy it. I've written down a few all requests already that I think all of them are either never played or a very long time Yay! ago. Yay! Okay, that'll be fun. I like that. I like the challenge. Okay. just saw that somebody said their daughter Abigail Cotton is having happy birthday so Abigail I hope you have a wonderful birthday thank you guys for watching these hymn videos all right next one is count your blessings oh yeah <laughs>
right. So apparently it is Canadian Thanksgiving. Somebody emailed me about that. And I made a mental note, but I didn't write it down. Well, that's okay. That We just played Count Your Blessings. And next up is Make Me a Blessing. I'm going to use the hymnal for that one. Let's see. I might could try it without the hymnal, but there's so many pretty chords, and I don't want to ruin them. So let me see. Make Me a Blessing. Oh, it's in this one. Good deal. Page 56. So I like that one a lot. Next up, and I think this one fits with Thanksgiving, Bringing in the Sheaves. Yep. back that had that song in it so I'm doing like 20 pages at a time so you'll see that on YouTube in the next couple weeks whenever we post that but that's been fun so I thought why does this song sound familiar and then I remembered I just played it so that's why all right next up we gather together we gather together to ask the Lord's blessing <laughs> that's it I'm afraid I can't remember the rest of it hold on let me see I know it we gather Oh, it's not in this one. Hold on. I'm going to try it. You got it. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, guys, I've got to learn that one a little bit better. That was terrible. <laughs> that, that was stellar. <laughs> Thank you. You all couldn't see it, but I was directing. He was doing the, the ups and downs, yes. like the, the choir, because I kind of I know the beginning and the end, but there's that little middle section that I'm not really sure where it goes. I don't know. I'll have all to learn right. that one. Hopefully before Thanksgiving. How about Jesus led me all the way? That one I do know.
ten thousand angels. He could have called ten thousand. Oh, okay. It's been a minute since I heard it, but we'll try it. Some of those come back to me line by line as I'm playing them. I'm hoping the next line will come. So <laughs> that's how that one was. I like that song. I hadn't thought of it in a while. All right. Do you know a song called He's Everything to Me? Um, I know a song called Everything to Me. Uh, mm, I think the Irwins sing it, but I don't know it well enough to play it. And I don't know that that's the right song. Everything to me more than a story. But I don't know if that's the same one they're talking about. I don't know. I don't think so. Well, that's okay. Okay. I have another one. <laughs> okay. All that thrills my soul is Jesus. Yes. Let me see. That's one of those I think I accidentally sometimes confuse with another one. So, And I don't remember what I confuse it with. And so I don't want to think of that too loudly. So if I can't find it in here, I'll just go ahead and play it and see what happens. All that thrills is not in here. Okay, who can, who? That's the one you get it confused with. Oh, about. no, that's terrible. All that no, thrills. None, you know, who can cheer the heart like Jesus? That's not it? No, I don't think so. All that thrills my soul. Let me play I the chorus wrong, and then hopefully it'll, it'll come back to me. I guess that did turn I out I think to be I it. got it. Okay. Sometimes if I'll start on the chorus, by the time I finish the chorus, the verse will have come back. So then I can go back into the verse. But, whoo, that was a little scary. I get that confused with another one, and I don't remember what the other one that I confuse it with is. So, whoo, okay, got through it. All right. This is one I know we've never tried. I don't know if you know it off the top of your head, but keep on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side of life. I know the words better than I know the tune, so I better not try it. That would be that would be a train wreck. All right, abide with me. Yeah.
so send I you. So we have a couple of requests for the All-American Hymnal. Oh, good. Okay. So let's go ahead and do them. I do not know what they are, so I just have numbers. So the first one is 23. Sounds good. Nothing like a little bit of excitement. 23? Page 23. I do know that one. The Great Physician. Oh, right. Good. The Great Physician now is near the sympathizing Jesus. He speaks the drooping heart to cheer. Oh, hear the voice of Jesus. Sweetest note in seraph song, sweetest name on mortal tongue, sweetest carol ever sung, Jesus, blessed Jesus. I glance over at the comments. I don't, I don't ha- get to read them all. So I, I glance over while I'm playing and I'll see a few fly by. But I've noticed several tonight that have stood out to me that have said, well, wow, a way to end this trying day, or these are such comforting songs in these troubled times and things like that. And I've just seen some of that, and I've thought, that really is sometimes what these hymns do for our hearts, is at the end of a trying day or in the midst of a trying day, if you can call to mind these things. In fact, Jeremiah said that, isn't it, Jeremiah? These things call to mind, therefore have I hope. Like, think on the things that God has done. And these hymns are a wonderful way to keep those truths in your heart because when something is memorized to a tune, you really don't forget it. There's a cute little poem that says that. something, But I forget the poem. I just know the tunes to these songs. But they are a really wonderful way to keep those truths just present in your mind. Like, Jesus is near, the sympathizing Jesus. He knows what you're going through. He is there and he is able to take care of it so as i play this i hope that's kind of what will be in your mind so Next is 116. 116. Okay, let's see. Victory in Jesus. That one I do know.
And number 278. 278. Okay. Home of the soul. That's a new one for me. Okay, let's see what happens. 6-8 timing, okay. That one it took me by surprise when the altos took the lead there on the refrain but after I got into it I could see what was going on but that's a new one I like that all right this next one I know that you will need a hymnal for okay and it is master the tempest is raging yes I do I love that song I absolutely love it but I don't I didn't grow up singing it and I don't know it well enough to try to do it completely without a hymnal so I'm gonna grab one let's see wait 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 oh no I did put it away okay Let's see. I am pretty sure it's in this one. The hymnal on the um, piano tonight is the All-American Hymnal. All-American. So we didn't say this, I don't think, but I think we are going to feature a hymnal every episode. And we just started at A. And <laughs> so All-American, I think next is going to be Baptist hymnal. or Broadman? Yeah, yeah, that Baptist comes before Broadman. Yeah. This is true. <laughs> she, she's a teacher. <laughs> so he was. He said, "Do you have a hymnal that starts with A?" And I said, "Well, actually, I think I do. All American." So we thought that might be fun. So if it's not a hymnal you have, I'll probably end up playing out of one that you do have or are more familiar with. So this is "Master the Tempest Is Raging." I love this song. I think this is such a great one. That came from Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs. So now I have two hymnals up here. So if you're just dying to hear one out of that, feel free to request it. But that's a great hymnal. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Mm -hmm.
Do we have a hymnal called Worship in Song? Worship in Song. Not that I know of. I thought not, but... I don't think so. That's not one that rings a bell. All right. Oh, sorry. I lost my place. I actually am working off a list, just so people know. I write down songs, obviously not anywhere close to all of the requests, but... (laughs) I go we do by the best we can. I kind of go by memory of, you know, what we did recently. Um, plus, we've mentioned before that it seems like every episode or whatever you want to call this, every Sunday night kind of takes on its own mm-hmm. little theme in some ways. That's kind of so fun. Anyway, um, thanks for getting us over a thousand again. It's oh, been a few cool. weeks since we hit that number. Um, but that's pretty cool. That's kind of crazy, actually, <laughs> that there are that many of you out there watching and listening. All right, next request is the. I'm sorry, I can't read my own writing. <laughs> I believe it's the Lamb of God. I don't know that one. Not not a particular one, unless they have a page number. For I'm the sorry, book. it says the love of God. The love of God. Now that one I do know. There we go. <laughs> This little light of mine. The easy ones that actually trip me up. After a second, I think, wait, how does this little light of mine go? Here's a one we haven't done before. Almost persuaded. Oh, yeah.
that song, if you're not familiar with it, it's an invitation type song, almost persuaded now to believe. And that last verse that I was playing, the words I was remembering were the verse where it seems now some soul to say, go spirit, go thy way, some more convenient day on thee I'll call. And it's going back to the story in Acts where Paul was talking to King Agrippa and he gave his salvation testimony of how the Lord met him on the Damascus Road, changed his life radically, turned him into a missionary, and now he's being persecuted for his faith, but God's opening some amazing doors for him to share the gospel with the kings. And King Agrippa listened, and he said, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. He had such close proximity to the truth. He was right there listening to the truth of the gospel, but he didn't decide to choose Christ. And as I was playing that, I just prayed right then, and I thought, Lord, if there's someone watching that doesn't know you in a personal way, like a real relationship with Jesus, and you accept his pardon for your sins, please don't put that off. The Word tells us we are not promised tomorrow. And that you don't know what a day will bring forth. Hold on. So Hold on. Your uh, mic just died. No, you're not being heard. You're uh, uh, either you unplugged it or the battery went dead. It's black. There. Okay. Is it back on now? Yes. Okay. All right. What I was saying is, if you are watching and you have felt that tug on your heart from the Lord, convincing you of the truth of the gospel, do not put it off. Like we're not promised tomorrow. We do not know what a day will bring forth. We're told that in the Word. So choose Christ today. So he says today is the day of salvation. So don't put it off. That's the best decision you'll ever make is choosing Jesus. All right. Um, in the garden. Plug it back in. Yes. Okay. All Is right. it back on? You're back with us. Now, okay, we're back in business. There we go. All right. Oh, wow. That was fun. Okay. So <laughs> here, here I was thinking we're probably about ready to start oh, yeah. the winding down process. So um, I think Natalie wants to do what we did last week, and that is take some requests from the favorites. Um, whatever series of of song books i love that last so week. i already that have so one fun. and we'll take okay uh, probably half a dozen more yeah, yeah, for in sure. the meantime natalie how about if you take the all-american hymnal yes. there and thumb quickly through it and just pick something that you would like to play from that hymnal okay i'm going to play two in a row i just opened two and i've seen them requested and i love these songs dwelling in beulah land and hold the fort so that's a fun one and i don't think i've done that much on here at all, if ever. So I'm going to play those two.
Okay. I think I've told this story before on here, so if I have and you already know it, just humor me for a minute. So we played that in church a couple few years ago, and I played an arrangement of it that had that cool seven chord. Well, that's not in the hymnal. And I accidentally, while I was in a big way of playing it, hit that chord congregationally and just, I was really feeling it. You know, it's a very, like, confident, military-style song that just talks about, you know, like, the battle, and yet we're going to have the victory. It's just awesome. So I finished playing it, and I was like, probably should have done that chord, but oh well. And I feel a tap on my shoulder, and my sister sat behind me in the orchestra, and she tapped me with her bow. She reached way up, and she said, we don't all hear what's in your head, so stick to the book. So it was a good reminder for me to not try to throw so much of that in congregationally, but with you guys, I'll throw it in there. It sneaks in anyway, so that's a fun song. I like that one. Okay, okay. so I've only seen four requests from Kay. the hymnal or the favorites. favorites and I would like to see a couple more so that's um, I just need a, a volume and a page number on a couple more songs so and I don't have seven yet so I have one through six and eight yeah we had one request for seven but okay that uh, it's on its way too bad. all right we'll start off in um, book okay there we go now we're getting some more Oh, yay. I guess we'll start off with one in volume one. Volume page one, 87. got it. Page 87. So, oh, Mike Robson, thank you so much for sharing our YouTube channel. And that also reminds me to mention it. But thank you guys for subscribing. And we post all of these sessions on YouTube. So they're live on Facebook, we post them onto YouTube, and then we post other stuff throughout the week. Like I did a fun interview with my mom where she shared a lot of behind the scenes details of having to listen to us kids learn instruments. And then like some hymn medleys and tutorials. I did a tutorial on key changes and um, a good rolling pattern for your left hand. So if you're a church pianist, there's a lot of helpful stuff on there for you. But if you just love old hymns and you like continuous hymn music, we've been putting up quite a lot of those in addition to playing through the red back. So that's been fun. Did you say 87? That's right. Okay, trust in the Lord. I do not know this song, but I'm excited to learn it, so we'll see what happens. words too. Trust in the Lord, old troubled soul. Nothing can trouble thee there. Mm, I like that. All right. On to volume two. Okay. First up is page 34. Page 34. So this is, but this I know. I do not know this one, but I'm going to play it anyway. So we'll see what happens. Uh. Let me try this again. One and two and three and four. Y'all could tell I didn't know this one. They're great words, but that was not one I was familiar with. So I was watching those little flags moving, and there were sometimes two and sometimes one. So, whew, okay. 
page 55. 55. Then Jesus came. Oh, I am so glad this got requested. Um, this has been requested quite a few times, and this is an old song that, let's see, Homer Rhoda Haver and Oswald J. Smith wrote it, but if you listened to Lester Roloff's broadcast and ever heard any of his preaching, this was the opening song for that broadcast. So I've always heard him singing it. So, And he sang it a little more freely. So. comes to stay. I think that's a very good description of what Jesus does when he comes into a person's life. Takes the gloom, fills the life with glory, all is changed. I like that one. You actually wrote a song about that, didn't you? I did. Everything he touched, he changed. That's a good, okay. So it's on our family's new vocal album that came out a couple months ago. So it's on the website, but Emily does a beautiful job singing that song. I like it. All right, page 81. Okay, 81. And I apologize for those of you who don't have any of these books. Um, it's kind of, I know it limits some of you, but it's also a fun way to introduce us to songs that we don't know and to kind of pull out, you know, some of these books that are out of print mm -hmm. and that are kind of from, I guess, really our grandparents' generation. Uh, for a lot of those, I think mm -hmm. the first yeah. one was printed in the f in like forty something. Yeah, let me see, volume one, but uh, um, forty three. Yeah. So, anyway, yep. they are out of print, and we didn't have them either until a kind person sent them. So, yeah. thank you very much. But this song, everybody's gonna know. So, page eighty one is his eye is on the sparrow. So. <laughs> Let's move on to volume four. Okay. Page 24. 24. Like, I am not worthy. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I do not know this song, but we'll see what happens. <laughs>
chorus, if that's a new one for you, and it's a new one for me, it says, I am not worthy, this heart gladly beats it. Jesus left heaven to die in my place. What mercy, what love, and what grace. So. All right. Page 46. 46. Okay, the song of the soul set free. Man, I'm learning all kinds of new ones tonight. Let's see. Whenever I'm sight reading a new one, I have no idea what's coming from measure to measure. So as I got started, I thought, I think this is supposed to be faster. But then once I got into the chorus, I thought, no, maybe it is actually right. So I have no idea. If that's supposed to be a lot faster, I apologize for playing it too slowly. <laughs> All right. I have one more. Okay. Do you have any closing remarks that you want to make known before we play our last song for the evening? Not that I know of. But if it's a song I don't know, I'll probably play one right after that I do know right. so I can it's at least page 84 so, so I can see. end on something confident 84 mm -hmm. okay let's see oh. let's see our family will be at Southwide Baptist Fellowship this week at Gospel Light Baptist Church in Walkertown so if you guys are in the area please feel free to come to those services we'd love to meet you so we've enjoyed getting to meet quite a few of you out when we're singing on the road so that is always enjoyable so we we like that 84 that's right i want to do my best amen okay i don't know this one uh <laughs> Living for Jesus. I've seen it requested for before, but playing that just kind of reminded me of that. Like, I hope you have a wonderful week, but think about living in light of eternity and make decisions based on thinking like, what does God want me to do in this situation? Interacting with people, reacting to situations that you encounter. So I hope you have a wonderful week and keep these uh, words in your mind and in your heart and let the peace of God rule in your heart as you go throughout your day. So 